Hey, how you doing? Jeff from Deep Cycle Battery San Diego with your next How To Wednesday video. And today we're going to discuss about replacing a battery in a series of batteries. Maybe you have a battery bank, you have a solar system, a golf cart, or a marine uh, bank, and you identify one or two bad batteries. And the question we get here a lot at the shop is, well, why can't I just replace one or two of these batteries? Hey, they're expensive, you know, and they make a lot of sense. And let's unpack that because the reason is, and it does sound self-serving if we tell you that you have to replace all the batteries. The reason is when batteries age, the internal resistance inside the battery starts to grow. And because of sulfation and uh, lead sulfite, the batteries block the charging. They take longer and longer, longer to charge. If you ever lift up a cap when the battery's on charge, you'll notice that it goes from a cold state to a hot state, the water will start to boil. And over time, that charging and the boiling of the battery gets longer and longer and longer. So we call this internal resistance. And the unbalancing of dropping a new battery into an old battery bank will occur because the new batteries have less internal resistance and they're going to come up to charge a lot quicker. And the old batteries are not going to get fully charged. And what we see happen is that the charging system may be triggered to stop charging. And once the new batteries come up, it shuts off and now the old batteries, let's say you have a uh, solar system, you have these Trojan T105 REs for an off-grid solar system, great batteries, or the L16 RE, even better, higher amp hours. Now the solar system trigger, the charge controller triggers, hey, we're done charging, but your older batteries have never fully charged. Now your new batteries really are working hard. So it will actually cost you more money, believe it or not, doing a patch by trying to drop a new battery into an, uh, an, an older bank. The ideal remedy would be to locate and, and secure a used battery. And we do sell the used uh, six volt golf cart GC2 size batteries here at our shop, typically about 55 bucks each. This battery, the L16, not such an easy battery to come across for used. We do see them once in a while. But that would be the best practice if you had to go that way and just do a patch, then you would drop a used battery in. Um, definitely don't recommend doing that with a new battery. Now let's talk about the age. How, how many years or how old does that uh, rule uh, for the batteries take effect? About a year and a year to year and a half, I would say is the cutoff. So if I have a battery bank and for whatever reason a cell dropped out, um, it could happen with, uh, I'm using, people use baking soda, sometimes baking soda will get into the cell. Hey, that'll kill the battery. That could really damage the cell. Um, and let's say you have a year, year and a half old battery bank. Yeah, you could probably put a new battery in there. Okay, I think it's going to be okay. It would be great, but it would it would be okay. Two years, year and a half after that, two years or older, definitely not. Now your battery bank is unbalanced, and you're going to have problems. I believe your new battery investment is going to be short lived, and you're going to be replacing the whole battery bank anyway. So I hope that helps you. Just understand that batteries do create or do get internal resistance over time. Their amp hours diminish over time. Um, and the best thing you can possibly do for your battery, battery bank to keep your batteries lasting long is to equalize these batteries every 29 days. Trojan recommends equalization 29 days, which is a temporary overcharging situation where you really boil the plate. The plate's will get hot and, and, and shed off the uh, the uh, the sulfur, the sulfur uh, lead sulfide, always oh, forget that, and, and it'll keep them uh, fresh and um, try to never let your batteries go deeper than 50% depth of discharge. Uh, even a more shallow cycle than that is, is phenomenal. And while we're talking about solar, I cannot tell you enough, even though it doesn't help me to tell you this, Invest in a large solar array because solar panels last longer than batteries. Batteries have a shorter lifespan, but your solar array will last longer. And if you have a bigger solar array, it will almost act like a secondary battery because now you have a charging array that's occurring. You're recharging your batteries a lot quicker and it helps your batteries and it will, it seems to expand your capacity. And again, the solar panels are getting cheaper and cheaper and they do last a lot longer. So I hope that helps you. Hey, you can uh, subscribe to our channel. You can reach us at 619battery.com or call the shop. You can ask for myself, Jeff, at 619-448-5323. Talk to you soon. Thanks a lot.